COVID-19 updates anytime on NBCConnecticut.com. Now to an NBC Connecticut exclusive, a touching show of support for an Uncasville woman who was able to win the fight of her life. Heidi Voigt has her story. It's hard to tell behind that mask, but Beth Wilson's tears on Wednesday were happy ones. I was absolutely not prepared for what I walked out to. I was very, very overwhelmed. After a nine month battle with breast cancer, she came to ring the gong at Smilo Cancer Hospital to mark her final day of radiation. The gong is the celebration at the end to basically culminate that you, they call it graduation. Fighting cancer is hard enough. Doing it during a pandemic, even harder. It really was um, because I had my support system basically ripped away from me. But unbeknownst to Beth, this day would be different. So when I walked around the corner, I first saw all of the medical professionals, like literally probably almost every single person who was in the building. And then I looked outside and just saw everybody, my mom, my dad, both my sisters. But seeing everybody was just, it was like, you know, my heart just exploded in my chest. A reminder that love knows no distance, even in our toughest times. What has the last nine months taught you? Oh man, <laughs> that I'm not alone. And I'm not, I'm not at all. I'm not, and I'm so loved and so held. I feel like um, I'm gonna make every day from now on count so much more than I would have before. And Beth tells me she has a message for young women everywhere. She's only 38, she has no family history of cancer, and she was diagnosed after finding a lump herself during a breast self-exam. That's something she learned how to do during a high school health class. A life-saving lesson, she says, that she wants all women to learn. Heidi Voigt, NBC Connecticut News. Congratulations to Beth, wow. She earned every bit of that celebration. I'll tell you, talk about the epitome of strength. Oh, Amazing know. story there. And seeing the whole family outside when she turned the corner was spectacular. Okay, let's switch to weather now. Boy, have we had a...